I'll be hatching some eggs uh, for a customer. And so I went to farmerbrad.com, clicked on tools, and then I generated a hatching schedule um, and I printed it out. Let me show you. So I'm at farmerbrad.com, clicking on tools, going incubator hatch schedule generator. And I'm going to be placing the eggs in the incubator today generate the schedule and so start date is february 4th day zero and it goes down here and then it has a little reminder that day 18 is locked down remove the eggs from the egg turner and then they'll finish up february 25th so i end up uh putting the sheet over here with a clipboard so i can make notes during the hatching i got the eggs here uh, double stacked there for the other ones. These are uh, Moran eggs and they ended up being a lot bigger. So I went ahead and put them in the green uh, tray, typically designated for ducks. And then I have this set to 100 degrees and then the humidity is currently 55% which is right on target. And then I have this bucket uh, connected to a float valve in the hydration tray. And then when it comes time for lockdown on day 18 is when I put the uh, filter in there to increase the surface area. Now, since these are double stacked, I'm gonna put them on the top so I don't have to worry about them bumping into any of the other levels. And the other thing too, is you want to make sure that the eggs are placed pointed side down so that the air pocket ends up floating to the top. So actually I can't double stack the chicken egg trays, but there's two trays that can go on the same level. Now I place these eggs down here on level two. Now typically when I incubate these, I put a sharpie number of one two three and then i put letters on my trays that way i can reference uh, tray number one b or tray number one a and so forth so that really helps me identify and make good notes on that but in this case i'm going to be incubating one customer's eggs and so um, it will be all good and then as a insurance policy, I'm going to be putting a Ruby temperature and humidity sensor inside of here so I can uh, remotely monitor it via Bluetooth and set alerts if it uh, gets out of range. And so now I shut the door and then one of the most important things is to turn on is to tilt everything looks good and then push the automatic button until that stays on you do not want to forget that So the temperature is getting up to the correct level um, because I opened the door as well as the humidity. I hope you enjoyed that video uh, showing a little bit behind the scenes of uh, incubating baby chicks and using the tool on the website. Uh, make sure to check it out if you're incubating and you want to generate a custom schedule, hatchery schedule list. Uh, it's a free tool on farmerbrad.com and then go under the tool section and you can access it right there. Thanks until next time. Have a great day.